Hello and welcome to this CUBE Conversation. I'm John Furrier, host of the CUBE here in Palo Alto, California. We're talking open source, we're talking about the data center, we're talking about cloud scale, bringing that software benefits all to the table, all around the network, the network operating system and more. Got a great guest here, Saurabh Kapoor, Director of Product Management, Dell Networking. Saurabh, great to see you. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, John. Great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. You know, we were talking before we came on camera around how the networking business is changing, why hardware matters, why software is more important. And in all this shift that's happening in the transition to fully distributed computing, which matters, you got the edge, you got the data center, you got the cloud all coming together. One of the common threads in all of this is open source. Okay, open source software, next generation is coming. You're seeing more and more new cool things in open source, but also in parallel with the enterprise. Uh, this is a huge kind of flashpoint to the next gen open source enterprise convergence with open source software and the communities and all, and all that all that good stuff and you're in the middle of it. What's driving this movement mm -hmm. open source in the data center? We're seeing the levels of support like we've never seen before and specifically at the network level. Awesome, yeah. So I mean, to set the context, let's start by looking at the story of compute evolution, right? Uh, in the 90s, the compute infrastructure was vertically integrated. Uh, there were multiple vendors, each offering their own operating system, usually a version of Unix uh, on, on the proprietary hardwares. If I wanted to run a Solaris operating system, I had to run that over a SunSpark processor and the applications were written specifically for, for that architecture. So, so this represented multiple challenges back then. The customers were locked in, stifled growth and innovation. Developers had to we create applications for, for different architectures and, and the interoperability was extremely difficult. But with the advent of x86 architecture and standardized operating systems like, like Windows and Linux, the stack got disaggregated, which allowed for flexibility, innovation, affordability, and finally expansion. We see a similar trend happening on the networking side now, where the traditional networking solutions are, are not flexible. The switch, the network operating system, the APIs are all provided by the same vendor. So if a feature is, is needed, the user has to either wait for the vendor to deliver it or is forced to replace the entire infrastructure. But with the advent of open networking and open source networking based solutions, we see an evolution that has paved the way for the customers to unlock their data center technologies and innovate. The modern data center is, is no longer centered around protocol stacks. It's about agility, flexibility, innovation, network automation, and simplicity. It's about how to make operations more agile, more effective and, and you know, bake it into an overall infrastructure. Today, a large element of, uh, of, of business rationale behind open networking is that companies are moving towards application centricity and, and a true realization of as a service model, right? So, so that is where Sonic comes into the picture, right? With its large and diverse community around, around modular containers architecture, born in Microsoft Azure environment, Sonic is, is built for automation, telemetry and scale. And the flexibility of this architecture allows you for, you know, in terms of running containers applications by providing that high level of redundancy. So, so basically, you know, Sonic kind of check marks all the requirements of a modern data center from open and flexible architectures to cloud economics. And if you have to follow a compute evolution analogy, we believe that you know, switches is the server now and Sonic is the Linux for networking. It's like the kernel of networking. I mean, we've been reporting, we've had other CUBE conversations where Sonic's been mentioned and people have been saying things like, it's taking the networking world by storm um, and all, all that with open source kind of ties it and scales it together. Can you take a minute to explain a little bit about what it is? What is Sonic? What does it stand for? Why is it important? What does it do? What's the benefit to the customers? What are they, what, what's going on around Sonic? Take a minute to explain what is Sonic. Absolutely, yeah. So, so Sonic stands for Software for Open Networking in the Cloud. It's a brainchild of Microsoft. In, in 2016, they announced their contribution of Sonic to the open source community. And, and through which the networking technology took a revolutionary step forward with yet another level of disaggregation by breaking the monolithic NOS into multiple containers components. And, and through the use of containerization, Sonic provides the, the network managers, the plug and play extensibility, the ability to run, third party proprietary or open source application containers and, and perform those in-service upgrades with zero downtime. Sonic is, is primarily designed across four main principles. The first one is the notion of control where uh, Sonic is an open software, organizations are deploying it, working on it. The network managers can decide what features they want to ship on a switch so that there's less potential for bug and, and it's tailored for more of their use cases, right? Sonic was designed for extensibility for uh, the developers to come and add new capabilities and roll those out rapidly on, on a platform. 
Uh, it's because designed for agility, the ability to take changes, roll those out rapidly, whether it's a bug fix or a new feature coming out, uh, which is significant. And finally, Sonic was designed around this notion of open collaboration with such a diverse community around. We have silicon vendors to ODM providers, individual contributors. The more people work on it, the better and more alive the software it becomes. Yeah, I mean, it has evolved considerably. And, and since its inception, it's, it's, uh, the growth is, is nurtured by an increasing set of users, uh, a vibrant open source community. Uh, and then there's a long uh, trail of, of you know, following from, from the non-hyperscalers where they like the value proposition of technology and they want to adapt it for their environment. Yeah, and of course we love silicon here at Silicon Angle and theCUBE, uh, but this is the whole new thing. Silicon advances is still software, hardware matters. Dave Vellante is doing a big thing called on why hardware matters with our team. Hardware and software together with open source really is coming back in smaller, faster, cheaper. It's really good. So I want to ask you about Sonic. What types of customers mm -hmm. would be looking to implement this? Is this more of a, a, a reset in the data center? Is it a cloud scale team? Is it distributed mm -hmm. computing? What's the new look? of the customer who are implementing the likes of Sonic? Well, uh, you know, it has evolved considerably since its inception, right? It was born into a hyperscale environment and we see a big trend happening where, uh, you know, there's a wider appeal that is across non-hyperscalers who want to emulate the best practices of the hyperscalers. They, but they want to do it on their own terms. They want uh, uh, a feature solution that is tailored for enterprise use cases. And, and you know, looking at this whole containers architecture, Sonic kind of fits the bill well, where you know, providing a Linux NOS that can be managed by the, the same set of automation management tools. Uh, and then you know, these are the same teams, you know, uh, that have you know been acclimated to the world on the server side. Now with this all tool consolidation and consistent operations across the data center infrastructure, we we see that Sonic brings a lot of value uh, to these distributed application use cases, these yeah. Modern data center environments where you you know you have you know customers looking for cloud economics, multi-vendor ecosystem, open and flexible architectures, and in fact you know uh, you know we're told by the industry analysts that there's a strong possibility that you know during the next three to six years Sonic is going to become analogous to Linux, uh, you now allowing the enterprises to to standardize on this nose and 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 you know they also predict that uh, you know 40 percent of the organizations that have uh, you know, large data centers or 200 plus switches will deploy Sonic in production. And the market is going to be you know, approximately 2.5 billion by, by 2025. You know, so, we've, all, we've always been riffing about the network layers, always the last area to kind of get the innovation because it's so important. I mean, right. if you look at the advances of cloud and cloud scale, obviously Amazon did great work, Amazon Web Service with networking layer, what they did kind of with the, in the cloud. But even in the enterprise, it's so locked down, it's so important. Um, and things like policy, these are the concepts that have been moving up the stack, we see that, but also software's moving down the stack, right? So this no notion of a network operating system kind of now is in play at the data center level, not just on the server. You're talking mm -hmm. about like packets and yeah. observability, monitoring, you know, more and more and more data coming in. So with data surging, tsunami of data, new um, agile architectures changing in real time, dynamic policy, this is what's happening. What's the role of Dell in all this? You guys got the hardware, um, you got the servers, now it's open source, it's got community. What is Dell bringing to the table? What's your role in this development, the evolution of Sonic, and, and what are you guys bringing to the table? Absolutely, so, so we announced uh, Enterprise Sonic Distribution by Dell Technologies, a commercial offering for Sonic in June last year. And our, our vision has been primarily to bridge the gap between hyperscale networking and enterprise networking. Right here, we are, we are combining the strengths and value proposition of Sonic and Dell Technologies where the customers get an innovative, scalable open source NAS, which is hardened, supported, and backed by an industry leader in open networking. That has been, that has been our, our primary play into this. Where Enterprise Sonic by Dell, we, we custom, the customers you know, get support and deployment services. Uh, we work with the customers in building out a roadmap that is you know, a predictable software and hardware roadmap for them. Uh, we, we provide extended and validated use cases where uh, you know they can leverage you know Sonic for their you know specific environments, whether it's a cloud environment or an enterprise environment. Uh, we've created a partner ecosystem with uh, you know with, with certain organizations that allow you to leverage the inherent automation telemetry capabilities in the NAS uh, to enhance the usability of the software. We have uh, created an intuitive CLI framework called Management Framework to allow you to better consume Sonic for your environment. We offer support for open config models and then 
also Ansible playbooks for, for network automation. So, so it's been a journey. Uh, you know, we're making the solution ready for enterprise consumption. There's a, a big fan polling that is happening from the non-hyperscaler world. And uh, we've made significant contributions in, in, in the community as well. Yeah. One million lines plus of code, bug fixes, and, and helping with the documentation. So we are at the forefront of, of Sonic journey. So you're uh, saying that you, you're saying, Dell, for, for the folks watching, you guys are putting the work in, you're investing in open source. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. I mean, we, we, we are, uh, you know, extending open source to the broader market, you know, making it enterprise ready uh, with, with feature enhancements and building a partner ecosystem. Uh, you know, we, we ensure that, you know, it, it runs through extensive internal testing and validation for the customers. And then uh, in order to allow the customers to absorb this new technology in-house, uh, you know, we, we provide virtual demos. We have, you know, hands-on labs for, for customers and channel partners. We we also help them with, with a lot of documentation and reference architecture so that, you know, it's a knowledge repository across the board that can be leveraged for the modern use cases. So, yeah. So that's been a, it's been a journey with the customers and it's always in evolution where we, you know, get better with, with extended use cases and, and more capabilities on the portfolio. You know, I always you know, I always talk with Michael Dell at the Dell Tech Worlds every year and sometimes we text back and forth. Uh, we kind of grew up together in the industry about the same age. Um, and we joke about the Dell, early days of Dell, how supply chain was really part of their advantage. Um, and this is getting a little bit of a throwback, but if you look at back, back then, it was a systems architecture. You have suppliers, you have chips, you have boards, you build PCs, you build servers. And the DNA of Dell, Dell Technologies has always been around the system. And with open source and distributed computing, cloud data center edge, it's a system. And we're hearing words like supply chain in software, right? So when you start to think about Sonic and network operating systems and that kind of, those kinds of systems, when you modernize it, it still has got to enable things to enable value. So what's the enabling value that Sonic has for the modern era here in computing as new kinds of supply chains emerge, new kinds of partnerships have to evolve and the environment under the covers is changing too. You got cloud native, you got growth of containers. I think Docker was telling us that the container market there is pushing 20 million developers. I mean, massive cloud native activity and open source right. growth. This is a system. No, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, the modern world has changed so much from from you know the proprietary infrastructure and stacks. Now, uh, we at Dell, you know, becoming uh, uh, you know more software focused now because that's a real value uh, that you bring to the customers. Now, it's all about application centricity. Nobody is talking about you know protocol stacks. Or, you know, they they want simplicity. They want ease of network management. And how do you expose all these capabilities? It's it's with software. Right. Sonic being open software, there's so much happening uh, in, in the community around it. We know we provide not bound interfaces that you know customers can hook up into their applications and get better at monitoring, get, get better at you know managing that entire CI CD pipeline in the infrastructure. So I think you know software is, is the core in the heart of you know the modern data center infrastructures today. And you know, we've been uh, you know uh, uh, at the forefront of this journey with, with Sonic and uh, you know, bringing the real choice and flexibility for the customers. It's certainly an exciting time. If you're in the data center, you're in, in architecture, cloud architecture, you're in data engineering, a new growing field, not just data science, data yeah. as code. We did a big special on that recently in theCUBE, but also just overall scale. <laughs> and so this, these are all new factors in CXOs are dealing with, obviously security is playing a big part of it and the role of data uh, and also the application developers all in play the partner ecosystem becomes a really important part of it. So I have to ask you, can you expand a little bit more on your comment earlier about the partner ecosystem and the importance it mm -hmm. plays in providing a best yeah. in class service because you're relying on others in open source, but you're commercializing Sonic with others. So there's, a, there's an ecosystem mm -hmm. play here. What's, what's the, can talk more about that and, and the importance of it. Right, right. Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, right, the modern data center is no longer centered on protocol stacks. Right? So it's about agility, flexibility, choice, uh, network automation simplicity. And based on these needs, we've built up a portfolio with, with plethora of options for uh, you know, integrations into open source tool chains and, and also building enterprise partnerships for, uh, with, with technologies that matter to the customers. Right? So uh, the ecosystem partners uh, are, are you know, Abstra Juniper, um, Octera, Dorado Cruz that offer solutions that simplify network management and monitoring of, of massive complex networks and leverage the, the inherent automation telemetry capabilities in Sonic. 
it comes to the open source tools, uh, you know, these these are tools that you know the broader the, the tier two cloud service providers, the large enterprises also want, you know, based on how they're moving towards an open source based ecosystem. So we have, you know, created Ansible modules for network automation. We have integrated into open source mounting tools like Telegraph, Grafana, and Prometheus. And then we continue to, you know, scaling and expanding on these integrations and ecosystem partners uh, to bring that choice flexibility uh, to the customers where, uh, you know, they can leverage the, the inherent software capabilities and leverage it to their application business needs. Srab, great to have you on theCUBE. Srab Kapoor, Director of Product Management at Dell, Tech, Dell Networking, Dell Technologies. Um, networking, really important area. That's where the innovation is. It matters the most, latency. You can't change the laws of physics, but you can certainly change architectures. This is kind of the new normal going on. Final point, final comment. What can people expect to see around Sonic and where this goes? What, what happens next? How do you see this evolving? Well, there's a, uh, you know, I, I think we start off our journey to an exciting, you know, evolution on a networking happening with Sonic. There's so much this this technology has to offer with you know, a lot of technical value prop around microservices, container architecture, with such a diverse community around it, there's a lot of feature additions, extended use cases that are coming up with Sonic, and you know, we, we we actively engage in the community with a lot of feature enhancements and help, also helping steer the com community in, in a direction that you know uh, brings Sonic to the wider market. So, uh, you know, I think this is this is great. You know, start to a fantastic journey here and. Uh, we look forward to the exciting things that are coming on the Sonic journey. Awesome, thanks for coming on. Great Cube Cautious. We'll follow up more. I want to track this. Dell networking, networking is important. Software operating systems, it's a system approach. Distributed computing is back. Modernizing here with Dell Technologies. Thanks for coming on, appreciate it. Awesome, thank you, John. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE here in Palo Alto, California. Thanks for watching.